Hello, one and all. Welcome back to Manly Voices. It's soda time. I'm Evan, also known as Manly Ankles. I'm back with Diet Cola, I mean Grace. Yeah, I thought I shouldn't have a third cup of coffee already, so. Instead, soda is the better option. <laughs> yep. Uh, agree to disagree. I'm back. We're playing with uh, Cop. We're playing. What? I'm, I'm mixing up my intros here. Uh, we're playing Coffee Talk. Uh, we're on day three. We are currently attended by Freya and an orc, an orc girl and a Neko Mimi girl. Oh, um, I am the interim. Interim? 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 What are we talking It's one of those words I read but never say. Yeah. Um, I healed Evan of his hiccups. Yes, my hiccups are now gone. We uh, tried like four different remedies and the one that worked for us this time because i feel like every time it's you got to try different ones until something works yeah was drinking water upside down it was hard as shit but it definitely worked and my hiccups are gone my mom. i never feel and now i don't feel like i'm gonna spew chunks all over my laptop Ugh, you're welcome for that image let's continue well i'm not an old lady like you that's for sure besides i've been earning a living since i was 13 years old so i'm definitely not a kid anymore Ow. I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. <laughs> oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, or if you're in danger, blink twice. <laughs> I mean, she just blinked twice! <laughs> well, Freya's the one blinking twice. The Neko girl's not blinking at all. No, she did, right before she made the... Oh, I saw her I blink think twice. That, I think that was just her idle animation, though. Well, they should have thought about that, because she totally blinked twice. With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. <laughs> snob. <laughs> part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Jeez. This is some kind of made cafe experiment or something. So, what do you want to order? The huge. The usual. Alright. Trivial express. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw something in her next drink just to throw her off her game. I agree. You're ready. Your espresso's ready. Especially because she's the tutorial character. Like, what happens if you fuck up her order? Yeah. As good as usual. Glad you liked it. I used the wrong voice. I am top-notch voice acting here. Yeah. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. This camera movement is gonna make me blow chunks <laughs> on your computer. I won't move the camera. Sorry. Okay. I just wanted to give, like, focus on them because work girl's really not saying anything. Yeah. As long as you keep it there, then it's fine. Yeah. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated and started her solo career? Ra uh huh. Rachel Florencia. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings me back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk? Uh-huh. <laughs> Kitties are snuggling on their cat bed. Oh, I'm serious. Fine. Finally. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. You come to this coffee shop? How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. Yay, achievement unlocked! <laughs> I love that. No, seriously. Why are you here? <sighs> well, you know... The usual young folks' problems. Avocado toast. I had a fight with my father. Avocado toast? <laughs> yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. That's horrible. It's delicious. Oh. And so here I am. I see. Yeah, there's like the 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 boomers think that we can't afford anything because we put avocado on our toast. Are avocados expensive? I mean, it's more expensive than toast. Um, like, eh. I don't buy butter. avocados. Peanut butter toast is the jam. Okay, but now I'm thinking of peanut butter with avocados and I want to bomb. Well, um, good. <laughs> but is it... Okay, 
but avocados remind me of sour cream and it reminds me of an embarrassing story. So one time I asked Evan to make me toast and sometimes I don't have bagels, but I do really like cream cheese. So I'll put just cream cheese on regular toast, right? And so I asked Evan to do that for me because I think I was just having a really bad morning and I just wasn't feeling good. So he started to make it and I noticed it looked different than usual or something like the container was wrong. I don't know, but I was like, babe, um, what are you, what are you putting on the toast? And he's like, sour cream. And I was like, Ugh! and it was just, I was like, babe, no cream cheese. And he's like, I never he looked me either dead in the eyes. And he's like, there's a difference. <laughs> I never use either of those condiments in my daily I life. I love both of them and they, God, are so different. I don't put cream cheese in my tacos. I, you, who knows? Maybe they're delicious. But is it okay for a celebrity <laughs> like you? Moving on. To be out alone this late? Yeah, don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. <laughs> good, good, hey, good. Okay, now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad. My dad. We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? She's probably dead. Oh, no. She passed away a few years ago. No. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's all, it's all right. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? About how it's like in every episode of Law & Order SVU? <laughs> he has to work in Sheldon decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Oh, we got a new one. His orc is like, this is some juicy gossip. Oh, oh. It's, G it's Officer Georgie. Evening, Grinder. Evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. <laughs> just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Grinder. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Oh, so he's gonna need honey. Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Green tea? He has the sore throat of the and cheese whiz. Lemon and... Oh, or should I put lemon as the secondary? You should put lemon as the secondary. Alright, let's reset. Green tea, honey, and lemon. I'm just worried about, like, if he... If, if, he, if I should do it exactly as he told me to do it. Yes. So should I put lemon first, then honey? No. So I should do it exactly like this? Yes. All right. I'm going to hold you to that. And if we fuck it up. Green tea is ready. Mm, the ingredients are correct, but there's just something off. Damn it, I, was I wrong. fucking told you. Pardon me? Next time, try switching the ingredients. Understood. How's your day Wait, going? Wait, I want to remake it. You can't just remake them a drink? Well, no. I feel like if you own a coffee shop and it's wrong, you should remake it. I mean, it's fine. He's still going to drink it. We'll just do it I'm diff sorry. We'll just do it different next time. It's all good. Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear it? Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was my salary. Oh, I was going to say, like, a homosexual. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, today's payday, and I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, in the labor union protest, everything's fine, though. How oh, can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey, thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, uh, thank you for coming. Yeah, I knew that once they start talking about the union protest, you'd leave. Hope you, hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Orcs, am I right? Who the hell was that? I don't know, just a person. She just sat there and read. It's a coffee shop. Yeah. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're riding. I guess you're right. I'm just being a racist prick. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. Uh, wh what are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. And that, and this place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. I mean, but you're underage, right? So, where we lived previously, there was a coffee shop slash sandwich place that was open at this this hour, like 2 a.m. 
Um, and, you know, when the bars closed and you were drunk as shit and you really wanted a grilled sandwich, that's where you'd go. And this kind of reminds me of it. I mean, the inside looks very different. Now you got me craving Perkins again. Oh, Perkins. Dude, I want their pineapple upside down cake. I want their grilled uh, chicken. sourdough chicken strip melt. I'm sure we can remake. Um, you can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. Wow. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. Aww. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're fine. That was an obvious statement. Uh, it's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He, he is a cop. He is a cop. It's exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah, Freya, take a chill pill. Yeah, take a chill pill. Mr. Policeman here made me feel so much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? Of course, this is the safest place around here. Hey, uh, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> <laughs> Especially because we made a drink roll. Yeah, for sure. What? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. Well, you just have to a discount. Hit. I deal with crimes and public safety. How, how, how should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You should know your father. father yourself. Oh. Right. Guys, I'm right here. <laughs> you know I can hear you, right? Like, I'm literally wait, between you. Wait, really? I thought we were being so sneaky. See, Freya, she's got good hearing. Okay, that if Freya can hear you, the, ch the chick next to you can hear you. Yeah. That should help protect herself. Anyway, Miss... Rachel. Miss Rachel, uh, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He and me and my daughter fight every day. Uh, well, hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I've fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. Yeah, that's in, fact, in fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Maybe eventually. Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. That I'm an uptight dick, <laughs> and they are going through puberty. <laughs> also, I'm lactose intolerant, but everyone knows that because of my cotton toke, uh, what is it? Tomodachi. Tom Tomodol chill. From my grinder profile. Yeah, from my gr Hey, that's my profile. Stay off of my social media pages, officer. As long as we don't think leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. Hmm. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. It wasn't like this before it happened. I'm thinking before her mom died, but yeah. okay, you mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Hmm, nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It, it ain't easy, but you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator Especially between when you the two born. of you. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad. He lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot. But why did you run at this time? Why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. I don't think this is running away. This is just going to a Wait. coffee shop. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. <laughs> yeah, I run here a lot. But, yeah. So I... when I have problems with my daughter, I run to my job. When I have problems <laughs> with my job, I run to this coffee shop. And when yeah. I have problems with this coffee shop, I run to my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a vicious cycle, you see. But, yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. I think I said these exact words. In any relationship. I 
kind of understand what you're going through, Rachel. <laughs> I also ran away when I was younger. This isn't running away. She's just going to a coffee shop to cool down. It's not like she's like put all of her stuff in a bag and. No, going yeah, to she's the not. She's stop. not like running away. She's just kind of getting some space. And I think even like sometimes when we fight, we like need some space. Like you yeah. just. I mean, it's harder now with the whole cheese whiz pandemic. Don't say the word. We're not monetized. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Someday we might be. I have dreams. We'd have to get a whole new channel for that to happen, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Well, are you on good terms with your parents now? I am, because they're dead. <laughs> when and how did that happen? Well, to be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. They just fell down. <laughs> they just fell down. <laughs> there was just an open hole, and they, you just know, one, one little push, and they, you know, they, 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 didn't, they didn't argue. They didn't even wake up. Maybe, Moving on. Maybe I should run even further away <laughs> further from Further away from this topic. I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my... You're 18. You can move out. But apparently I don't recommend that. What's Seattle? You never know. Why? I'm an adult. We don't have to live in Seattle. You can live in like Tacoma or Redmond or... Yeah. Shoreline or Everett or... I don't know. Anywhere. Kirkland. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Just, um, just give yourself time to I think. I think Freya's Rachel. like hella judgy. Yeah, she's a writer. She judges everything. I mean, I'm a writer and I don't feel like I talk to people like that. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve something. Solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. I already killed him. Just take your time. But now I pushed him into the endless hole that Freya pushed her parents into. <laughs> now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But I'm not supposed to go into cars with strangers. You don't need to talk to your father right away. Except when it's an Uber. <laughs> just go straight to your room. At least know when you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. I mean, that's actually some pretty good advice. You're right. You really are a carp. You're really a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? Jesus. We have loud neighbors, so if, they, if the you hear- In the western part of Neko Town. So if you hear any random bumping, that's what that is. Oh, uh, that's I mean, I feel like they have a dog and we can't go outside. Yeah, well, I don't care. Um, you're still gonna drive me home, right? Uh. Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Uh, are you it's sure? Raining. I think it's raining in every scene. It's, it's, it's Seattle. Seattle and September. Oh, it's September? Oh, yeah, yeah. it's raining every day. 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. She's. I feel like Freya needs some sleeves for it to be September. Maybe she's just a local. Like, this is like golf weather. <laughs> I mean, yeah. my parents did golf in this. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Grinder and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Grinder. And there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, that's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the riding, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of... Uh, uh, nah, nah, barely made any deadlines. <laughs> I'm juggling a lot of words. Yeah. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. I don't think she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. Not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know, I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door's always open for you. Oh, ha, 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 I bet it is. <laughs> oh, okay, take care. I'm sorry, I thought Grinder was saying that. Be careful on your way home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like how the sign was like, back there says, and then it's just like coffee. Jahe Tubruk, Ginger presides over the the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup, originally from Indonesia. Interesting. 
<clears throat> All right. Where are we at? Friday. It's the next day. Yep. What we got? The Orcish Workers Union in talks with government over their pleas. That's good. Werewolf activists imprisoned for owning a legal fury sedative? I hope that's not our guy. Oh, I think it is. Rap group Street well, Orchestra no. questioned over their pro-eco-terrorism lyrics? <laughs> but it doesn't look like him. No. That, well, it also might be like a dramatized image. I don't know if it's an actual photo. Uh, it might not be him, it, but it might be... I hope it's it not might, him. I don't think so, but I think it might just cause, be cause for conversation. Hi! Okay. Oh, we have all of our profile. Um, oh, he, uh, Georgie's a father of three. Interesting. Uh, oh, and here's Rachel added to our profile. Cute. Oh. Okay. Ah, good evening, Mr. Hyde. Is, it, is that evening. supposed to be like a... Uh, like Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. yeah. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming. After his shift. Yeah, he is. It's pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. <laughs> uh, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our. When obviously there's only you here. Oh, uh, I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. Ugh. Yeah, I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Mm, do you have any blood? In my veins. Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on, did you think I was serious? Oh. Yeah? Nah, give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Alright, so ginger green tea. Make it warm and bitter. Is ginger bitter? Make that the primary. Uh, lemon maybe. No. More ginger. Or mm. more green tea. More green tea. Let's start. So maybe do two green teas. Okay. And, and a then gin. ginger. That's pretty bitter and pretty warm. Warm and bitter. Very warm and bitter though. So I think we need to get it up more. How do so, you get it more warm? Well, it, it maybe maybe it is two gingers. Try two gingers. Two gingers it is. All right. Your drink is ready. Let's see. Good. Glad you liked oh, thank it. God. That, was, that was stressful. <laughs> By the way, if you don't mind my asking, ask away. You said you're here for work? Yes, for a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? <laughs> Hell no. I could never imagine myself doing something so... Delicious. What's the word? Something as honorable as that. Huh? Then, are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? <laughs> I'm not a criminal. In that, in case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job, per se. But definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? It's on his profile. Yes. You travel a lot? More or less. You befriended a startup founder, so I assume you either have your own startup, or you work in some kind of investment agency. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. Yeah. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? It's on his profile. I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a, I'm a model. I didn't expect that. But you have the looks and the figure. So I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. I never age. Those ads for, <laughs> <laughs> for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire models. <laughs> we are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's. But we don't have those annoying pointy ears. Damn. Which makes us basically... A bunch of good-looking living mannequins. How better than to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Isn't that false advertising? <laughs> don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. Wow. 
Uh, is that our boy? Is that Gala? Nope, it's Freya. All right, let's fuck up for a drink. Okay. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? Good evening. <laughs> There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person if you can. <laughs> Grace is bouncing on the couch right now. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier, if you don't mind. Right, sir? <laughs> no, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. Yeah, because I'm a tutorial character. You bet. <laughs> she's not a tutorial character. She's just a, re a regular. Like she's a tutorial character. You could say she's a regular here. I could say that I'm a regular. <laughs> yeah. Hence the attitude. Uh, hey. You look very happy. Any special occasion? I got laid! <laughs> uh, not nothing. For the ninth time, according to my shoulder. Yeah, right. Th that's how I keep track of my lovers. It can't, if it changes, um, I have to... It's, yeah. I, ha I have to have sex with four people next time so I can make that into a V. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or wait, that would just make it five. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we know our Roman numerals. I just have to have sex with like a hundred people so I could put like a hundred in front of that. Yeah. Or just put another X on the side so it could be uh, 29 or something. If that's how that works. I don't know. This is her default state. She only has two states. Or like 19. Either extreme no, excitement or either. super stressed. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what's your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. My current li liaison is in the clothing brand I work with. It's the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually I work until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the, oh. How's the writing so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck in need of a warm drink. So. Brew me something. So, brew me something, please. Coffee? No. Oh. oh! I need to take it slow tonight. Wow, the day we decide to fuck up her drink, she wants something different than her normal drink. Oh, well, let's not fuck this one up. Warm there. and sweet without coffee. Okay. So... What do we got? Let's, let's peruse our menu. No coffee. Let's Could make her a hot chocolate. Something dark. Or something warm, sweet, without coffee. No, do chocolate... So... We could do a green tea latte. No, hear me out. Okay. Do cocoa powder? Cocoa powder. Milk? Milk. Milk. No, wait, no. We're not too terribly high on the warm department right now. More chocolate powder. More cocoa powder? Yeah. And milk. And milk. That's very cool. It's Why is not, that cool? It's, it's milk. <laughs> milk is cool by, by nature. Um, what was her description? Warm, sweet, no coffee. Try. What's the tea we could on the do, side? We could do tea. Tea is pretty warm. But it's, it's bitter. So okay. we could do tea with milk and honey. No, do um just do like a triple chocolate. Well, I want to I want to see how this cuz but ch co cocoa powder is bitter, not sweet. Like let's mm, It's not very high. Damn. Oh. Well, if you put ginger in it's going to be warmer. What about green tea? Green tea is more bitter. No coffee. Because, yeah, if we put... If we do a cr uh, triple cocoa, it's going to be way too bitter. Oh. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is a tough one. Chocolate. Chocolate powder. Ginger. Ginger. <laughs> and honey, I guess, to make it sweet. Ooh, but it's still, still not better. very warm. Man, this is hard. Uh, here, let me try. I want, like, is, I like maybe we're overthinking how much we need to balance this, but, you know. So what were her exact words? It says right on the top left. It's warm, sweet, and without coffee. So the base is green tea with the primary ingredient as... can't mix chocolate with it. I wanted to get no something gross. Maybe, maybe tea. Regular tea. Um, honey is the primary. And... More honey? Sure. Well, honey and tea. 
warm and sweet. I think that'll... I think that'll be okay, yeah? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Let's find out next time on Manly Voices, shall we? This is gonna be our last sesh. Here, let's, uh... Let's go ahead and brew it, then. <sighs> I know you wanted to leave it on a cliffhanger, but this was our last sesh for the time. Well, let's, we'll let's serve it, and then we'll get to the save menu before we see her, hear her reaction. A warm, sweet drink. All right. All right, next time on Manly Voices, <laughs> did we mess up? <laughs> we will find out. Uh... Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. And also leave a comment on what other voice adventures you'd like to do next. You'd like us to do next, rather. I mean, you could join us for those adventures, too. We are all welcome here. Until next time, bye, everybody. Uh, bye!